Now this is close. A definite run out here. In fact, Inzamam's going to the other end. And he might just be saved here. But the third empire will be called for. Now what will be interesting to see is when the ball hit the stumps on the full. It might just be a case that both the batsmen have not made their ground. I didn't think either uh, batsman was in at the non-striker's end. Inzamam had moved out of his crease. I'm not sure why he hadn't gone back to his crease. Yusuf Yohana suddenly decided that he was going. Sabah Karim's throw has hit. Now, one of them's got to be out. But I don't think he's called for the third umpire. Now, that's really surprising. I think Inzamam is out here. I, uh, I'm not too sure about the law, but I have a sneaking feeling that Inzamam might be the one to go. Yes, just seeing from that angle, Ian, I think I might have to change my mind because uh, you can't see Johanna really crossing Inzamam. From this angle, you feel that he's crossed him. Now, the batsmen have to cross. Now, if Johanna has crossed Inzamam and the third empire sees it, now, this will give you a clear picture. He hasn't really crossed Inzamam from this angle. His bat's still behind Inzamam's. And the ball hits the stumps there. Okay, now they've got the problem. He flashes up the, the light, but who's going to go? Because that won't tell the umpire out in the middle who's it, which one's got to go. Yes, he's going to tell the third umpire. In fact, the third umpire will have a chat with Peter Manuel and tell him that Johanna is out. Now, these are situations you don't see often on a cricket ground. Both batsmen running towards the same end. One angle giving you an impression that Johanna had not crossed in Zimam. Another angle tells you something different. But the third empire has made his decision. One batsman had to go, that was for sure. Johanna has to pay the price for it.